Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at the answer to question 1a part 3. So what we have here is we have our normal distribution still and this is talking about temperatures um, and we've got our mean of 11.6 degrees and a standard deviation of 4.8 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put that info on my diagram. So I put my mean roughly there in the middle at 11.6 and I'll just write that standard deviation underneath. And what we've been asked is we've been asked to talk about the hottest 1%. So our hottest 1% of days, we've got to think whether that means hottest 1% at the bottom or hottest 1% at the top. Um, and so in this case, when we talk about the hottest, think about your number line and hot days are going to be those which have high temperatures. So I want to find a value up here. So I want to find the temperature here where that area above it is 1%. So my hottest or highest temperatures. And when it asks for the lowest possible temperature that's just saying what's this one here because all the temperatures above that are also very very hot. So we need to think we've been given a probability. So that means instead of trying to find a probability using our NCD mode we need to use our inverse normal mode. So the inverse normal mode on our calculator we need to find that, we need to put in this area of 1%. Now I just need to convert that into a decimal. So if you do 1 over 100, that will give us a value of 0 0.01. So let's go to our calculator. And I'm just going to exit out of where I was. So distributions and normal, F1. And there's my inverse normal, so F3. And now I look at this diagram and I've shaded in this tail here on the right hand side. So I need to make this tail, instead of saying left, I want to say right. So I'm going to say I want the right one here, which is F2. Then I need my area. So this area that I've found here is 0 0.01. And we've got our standard deviation of 4.8 and mean of 11.6. And so that gives me a temperature there of 22 point, and I'll go to one decimal places for temperatures is fine. So 22.8 degrees. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the temperature is 22.8 degrees Celsius. I always want to put my units with that as well. And that is to one decimal place. So that being able to do that correctly that gets you a merit level because you are having to think and do the inverse okay so that is usually a R. Thanks very much for watching.